I want to say hi to my good friend Barb out there. Hi, Barb. Okay, today what I want to do is show you how to proceed a little further on a painting. And I'm going to give you a little opportunity to see a principle that you can use at home. When I say principle, technique. I have a little plastic sleeve here. On other segments, we've used it to cover a photograph. This is on a um, hardboard. And I just want to check. I have a great interest up there, the sky against the trees. And then you have strong down here, the little waterfall, the distance. But I'm kind of wondering about on the side here. So I, I just looking a little bit, what will that do? And then I might do a couple other things and check it out. But that's, that's a great way of doing it. You could have saran wrap or a sleeve and then go ahead and do this. So isn't that good? That's what I saw and that's what I like. So now I have interest in the sky, in the distance, in the water. We'll work them up a little further because the sky really needs to have a little bit more, I'm the boss. The light is coming from the left. You can see the light on the trees, the light on the, the trunks, the branches. So I'm going to go a little bit lighter there. This is not the source of the light. The source of the light is off to the left, which you won't see. You just see the effects of it. So we're bringing white down uh, that's sort of in the pink family, so I'll take a little alizarin crimson and white. What happened to the other white left? Oh, that, that's just right. You can see very quickly the um, impact. A little bit through there. Now this is very dry. The rest of the, uh, the board, hardboard, is very dry. And what I like uh, uh, do, uh, that, that I will do is since this is not the sun, then I can have some subsequent lower clouds that will receive some of the same light. And see, that, that kind of bridges the gap as you come down to this area. It's not such a big jump. But the other thing that will help is we need to put a little um, character on the distant cliffs. I'll first take, this is, ooh, you're purple. Did you know you were purple? You're purple. See, it's just a little darker there. And then when we come down here, uh, making just a little character on those distant hills. And the nice thing about the purple, it goes so well with the green. Now, as out of the corner of my eye, I see a little strong contrast where the purple is meeting the sky there. It almost takes away from where we want the contrast to be. So I'll just soften that slightly by wiping. Okay, let's have a little bit of that purple, purple and white, just kind of peeking through a little bit so you know that uh, there's airy trees. What about on this side? Possibly down there. Coming down just a little bit. I, I like very much the, um, and I'm going to wipe just a little bit. I like the impact that's down here. Now we again have quite a jump between this and this. So it doesn't always have to be a l strong light. I'll use some uh, phthalo blue and white as a beginning just to sort of show the direction of that stream. Then I'll come back and lighten uh, little aspects of it. You know, out of the corner of my eye, I see this and I think, what are you? What are you doing there? If you're a branch, fine, but I don't think you're a branch. So I'll take some of that green. This is yellow and white and a little bit of the um, phthalo green. Boy, you've, you've made the trip and you haven't been used. 
more white. Okay, let's try this. Good matching. Proud of you, Buck. Okay, while I have this color on the brush, let's go a little closer there. And going closer there, you establish a little bit of the character of that tree. Let's also do this side. Good. Okay. Down a little lower in there. Now remember, I put that little path of the blue in. I think what uh, I'll, I'll let, I'll have some white. Uh, let's take some white down with the phthalo blue. So this will be a little lighter. And then I can see if we got that strong a light coming here across there that we need to have a good strong light at the top of that little stream. So I have a little yellow and white right in here. Just touch that a little bit to make it a little more accidental. Water. Double waterfall. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we could have a little bit of, uh, we, get, we have a dark accent on this side, but the far side is just a little weak. So I have some burnt umber and a little viridian green. Right in here, it looks just a little weak. I don't necessarily have to have an identical twin Two bucks? Yes, two bucks. Stronger there. Okay, now when I look at this, I feel there needs to be a little more strength in that area. So I'll take some purple with a little bit of the burnt umber. And what you're doing, you get a little contrast between those two, a stronger contrast, and then the far right side doesn't look as weak. They, they become uh, a path for our blushing bride. Cassie and Zach come down through the aisle. OK, what do we have here? Just the same thing, a little down there, a little there, a little there, a little here. That's very lovely. OK, we just. Uh, have just about enough there. I think what I'll do now is take some a green. This is Viridian green and white with a little touch of Payne's gray. Just see, just a little character on the edge of this. It makes that path a little better if you do that. Now I'll do across the other side of the path as well. So when you're looking at it, you don't just see the impact you see some interest, makes you want to look further. I'm doing a lot of this. Is, are you new? No, you're old. OK, let's come over on this side. Come a little bit under that tree. And then as we go up over in here, this is a little weak as far as um, detail. So we have a little bit of that like that. I'm going to do what? A little orange, orange and white. Next to that light, it'll just make it that much stronger. Oh, this is so much fun to do. This, this is a winner only because we went a little further with it. What happened there? A little umber, just to let this go into the, that's better. That's a better value. All right. We have enhanced the painting. I hope you've learned from my playing around. We'll see you next time. Be brave, be courageous, and be willing to try.
funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. And by the members of Prairie Public.